Good evening, everyone. Good evening, fellow beer friends. Good morning and good afternoon, depending on where you are hearing us from. Today wasn't a very funny day. It's not funny at all. When uh, Prime Minister was busy fighting with uh, uh, this Shea Kuti, you know, that was uh, a total waste of time, you know, talking with someone that has lost his brain. Shea Kuti. We have message from this corner, from this end, for you. And that is the message of our brother, Emmanuel Oremijus, the truth sayer of our time, the deep thinker and um, somebody that knows more information than you, you could imagine that he knows. Shea Ukuti, you have to respond to this video. You just have to respond to this video. All right? If you know how to vent your anger vent your anger on the people that killed your dad and threw your grandmother off as she died vent your anger there but whereby you are swallowing this anger because you're a coward you are a coward then do not rant run against Mazin Namdekano or against Simon Epa we love their style of fighting fight to stay away is to fight for another day, all right? Don't go and die and you call yourself a hero and you say, oh, I died a hero. Don't throw yourself out like our Prime Minister was educating you. You don't throw yourself out. You are saying, come back and fight, come back and fight. That's foolishness. You know how many people that Nigeria have swallowed and still ready to swallow because of their greed and selfishness? Which democracy are you talking about? That is happening in Nigeria, and that's why our brother has this to tell Sheo Kuti. And I'm interested in it, and I want you to please help us to push, share, and uh, subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Program. I am sending this message direct to him because I saw all his ranting that uh, that uh, Nigeria have a Senate. That uh, if people if want to live, they can go to Senate where they make law. If they tender it, they don't burn anybody well. That uh, Nigeria is going to divide. That is rampant. Now, let, may I remind the son of Felani Ola Bokuti that Nigeria killed his grandmother. They pushed him over a story building and the woman fell down and died. Till today, till this day, have the killers of the grandmother be brought to book? Have the killers of your own grandmother be brought to book? In a system that you believe in, in America, if a crime like that happens, even if it happens within the states, there will be an investigation and the culprits will be fish and be brought to book. Have Nigeria brought the killers of your own grandmother to book? Which they say she is the first woman that uh, uh, drive KK or moto. I'm not trying to disrespect her. Of the history that Nigeria wrote, they have a very good history. But the person that I continue to respect is your own father. Nigeria killed your father. Even if you have no brain, your father was being taken, taken, taken. Until they took him and injected him. Which every Nigerian, those who call themselves Nigerians, knew and beyond that Fela and Ebola Bokuti was in, injected. I was 11 years when your father died. And I knew of your father as a kid. Because within the Igbo population then, he was very, very popular as a freedom fighter which everyone recognizes him and praises him. The same Diibo who honor your father and praises your father, this same Igbo you are talking down on their heroes, are you not ashamed of yourself? Your father could be ashamed, should be ashamed of you wherever he is right now. Your father smoked Igbo and he gave him inspiration to fight for the freedom. You, you smoke Igbo and your brain went off overboard. Are you not ashamed of yourself? 
I'm talking to you, Femi. Is your name Femi or Fe? The son of uh, Fela Anipola Bokuti. The injustice that your father fought is staring at your face. Those injustice. The time that your father was fighting injustice, Nigeria was thinking that they are better of a better country then because there was uh, uh, power supply. There was power supply. Nigeria was of a better country then than now. But your own father stood to fight the injustice. The money that they were achieving then is a small money compared to the money that they are stealing now. If he Chelsea, good morning. Jerry Weibo, good morning. The money that they were stealing then was of a very small quantity compared to the money that they are stealing now. Every local government chairman steals. Everyone steals. They are milking the same country dry. The military arm of the country is killing innocent citizens on day after day. The same injustices your father fought and said, not in his own lifetime, will all of you commit this impunity. Not in his own lifetime. The mistake your father made was that he never sought for independent state of Oduduwa. That's just the only mistake because your father believed that by fighting the injustice, he could be able to change the, 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 Shew, okay, his name is Shew, Shew Kuti. Thank you, Jerry Mwibo. His name is Shew Kuti, not of uh, Femi. Femi, I think Femi is the senior one. Shew Kuti. Shew Kuti. Nshew. That is your name. Your father thought that by fighting, he could be able to change the system. What did they do? They killed your father. They took injection on your father's body. Your elder brother said, he, your father told him and also told you that it's like they took something on my body and you, you felt comfortably. The same Nigeria that killed your own father is the same Nigeria that you are bragging. What do you have to brag? Tribalism has eaten you people. I am very surprised that you, as a son of a lion, Fela Anipola Okuti, never succumbed to tribalism. Go and check your father's preaching all. Fela believed that every human being, every African is an African, not even those who call those mumu who call themselves Nigeria. Fela believes that every African is an African. That is the reason why he built African shrine. Did he call it Yoruba shrine? Did he call it uh, 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 Nigeria shrine? He built Africa shrine. And the same Nigeria killed him. He was a great man. No doubt. We the Igbos, we speak the truth. No matter whose heart is God. Your father was a very, very brave man. But the son of a lion is not supposed to beget a, a, a sheep or even a green, a green snake. For lion doesn't beget a snake. Lion beget a lion, snake beget a snake. You have the audacity to talk about Mazenam uh, Dekan, this Igbo. Do you believe in Nigeria system? Do you believe? If you believe in Nigerian system, that means you are you are spitting on your father's grave because the same Nigerian system killed your own father. Let me remind you the great people in Yoruba land that the same Nigerian system killed. Do you know about Delegiwa? Oh, Delegiwa was your uncle. You knew about him very well. Delegiwa was killed by Nigeria. A very formidable journalist. Who never hide anything. He was killed by Nigeria. Using the cultist master. The head of, uh, the, head of uh, the nonsense. Your people are doing. Occultism. 
brother to brother, unne buo ngun. Called what is his name? Waleisho Inka. That instead of creating a better thing for the Yoruba race, Waleisho Inka gave Yoruba race cultism. Go to everywhere in Yoruba land. Everyone is killing each other. Courtesy of Waleisho Inka. They use the IBB, use the Waleisho Inka to end the Felani Polakbo. I mean to end the Delegiwa. But you is speaking. Oh, Nigeria have a parliament. If the Igbo is go to parliament, which nonsense parliament? The parliament, go to that. The last time that the Afra was mentioned on parliament, it was war. The senators from Northern Extraction fought the Eastern senators. Or don't you watch the video? In a democracy of Shehu, uh, Shehu, Nsehu, in a democracy of Nsehu, you just come on social media, open mouth to talk rubbish. I guess that you are having psychiatric problem. I, that I can tell you. Because what Mazen Nam Dekano is passing through is the same thing that your father passed through. As at the time that you were saying, that your father died, Nigeria also have a parliament where they sit and discuss. You said that Ojuku declared a war as a military. Ojuku declared a country, not a war. Because I be, uh, what are they calling him? Uh, this, uh, this guy refused the Aburi Accord before declaring Biafra. Biafrans were killed in massive quantity in the north. All of you knew about it. Before the coup, that all of you are talking, oh, Ibo coup. Ibo coup. Biafrans were killed in massive quantity. It was as a result of looking for a self landing that the coup occurred, which you people call the Ibo coup. The coup was not even plotted by an Ibo. It was 25, 21 officers plotted the coup. 21 army officers plotted the coup. Only 7 was from Igbo extraction. Only 7 out of 21. But you people called it Igbo coup. You people called it Igbo coup. 14 others, we are there. Some we are from Yoruba. Some we are from the north. Some we are from the people that you called South South. Then why did you call it Igbo coup? When Igbo have only 7 officers and 14 officers, we are from other regions. Yet, you people bashed it, Ibo Coop. I wonder some of you, Nangaria, Mochamu, News, Shew, Shameless He Goat, a very shameless He Goat, can you equate your life to your father's life? Your father, for the regime subjugating ordinary people. You, you are fighting the ordinary people, fighting to liberate their, themselves from the regime subjugating them. Are you not ashamed? When your father was alive, show me a single music that your father attributed to Ibos. Ibos as a sessionist. Show me one single record. Obonu. Obonu Yoruba. Oloni Buruku Yoruba. Omoshi. Omojati Jati. Show me one single place. You just feel that you can speak. Open your mouth wide to talk rubbish. Shew, upon mentioning Ojuku and Mazen Namdekano, Ojuku was a genius. Ojuku was sacrificed all that he have for his own people. His father was a multi-billionaire. Show, show me one thing that you have sacrificed. Yoruba people are in IDP camp in Benin Republic. It was uh, Sunday Boho that uh, came to liberate uh, some of them and collected money and leave. Some of your people are, be your people are being killed every day by day by Fulanis, whom you are attributing. Oh, one Nigeria. Whom you are now telling the people that, oh, there is a parliament. Who is running the parliament? Fulanese. 
How many, how many people, how many Fulanis are in the red chamber? And how many Yorubas are in the red chamber? Shameless he goat. You cannot use your brain to articulate what these people are doing to all of you politically. They made you politically, you are handicapped. Without the not, you cannot move forward. They made you, without the north, you cannot move forward. All of you must go and bow to the north. Are you not ashamed of yourself? You say that you are great to uh, do the what? Let me not use Yoruba because many of you don't know that uh, it was Fulani that gave you Yoruba. Fulani named you Yoruba. The Yoruba that you are answering today. Yoruba came from Yariba, which is a name used as backward, evil, um, meandering, and all of this. It was Fulani that called, named you Yariba. A race, you called yourself a race. You cannot even fight for your race. You will appear and say, I am Omo Yoruba. Omo Yoruba. I have challenged you. If when your father was alive, your father could have uh, fight this. I have challenged you. Show me one single cause that you have fought in the Yoruba land as your father did. Show As Fela did. I cannot disrespect Fela. Fela is a legend. Fela is, was a genius. Not only to Yorubas, but also to Africans at large. I am not like you that disrespect every of uh, uh, every hero. You go and disrespect every hero. A very shameless ego to like you. How I guess that people will send this direct to your WhatsApp. You are a very useless son of Odudua. Very useless at that. Or should I say I will attribute you to Yareba? Yareba? You are a Yareba child. That's the name that Fulani gave you. Fulani gave you Yoruba. Today you people are answering, who are you? I am Omo Yoruba Oluku. That is the reason why Fulani is afraid of the Igbos. And that is the reason why you have the mouth to talk about the Igbos, to talk, to talk against the Igbos. Fulani cannot give Igbo man uh, uh, Beberebe. They gave us Beberebe. It doesn't work. They gave us, uh, uh, what are they calling it again? Uh, uh, Nyamini. It doesn't work. They gave us uh, Nyamini. We gave them Aboki Metusa. They understand Aboki as my friend. We understand Aboki as Oluku. And today, if you call them Aboki in our land, they will warn you I'm not Aboki. Because they know the meaning we have with the Aboki. Aboki Metusa. But in your own, hey, go and ask Sheun, Sheun, Sheun Kuti. Sheun is uh, bearing uh, Omo Yoruba. Yes, go, to, go and ask him. Omo Yoruba, he doesn't know the meaning of Yoruba in Fulani. The name Yoruba was derived from Yariba, which means backwardness, which means bad, which means evil, which means meandering. Many of them don't know this. They want to hear it from Emane Oremijus. That their name was not a Yoruba. Their name was Oduduwa. Very useless he goes. Sheu. 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 I am Emane Oremijus. I am a man who remedies. Show me a single place that any lion have begat a lion. I mean, have begat a snake. Show me. But your father as a lion have begat you as a snake. You are a green snake under the green grass. Your father fought the government. Your grandmother fought the government. Nigeria ended the life of your grandmother. Up to today, you are still submitting, submissive to the same out leadership. Your father abused the criminals, stealing the money of the of the so-called Nigerians then. Now, Shehu is praising Tunumbu, who is a drug lord. What happens to your father's legacy? Who even entered into government with a false certificate? Your father did not uh, discriminate. 
Your father called a spade a spade. No matter whose hut is Gog, your father calls a spade a spade. Your own father called a spade a spade. Go and check all your father's uh, preaching. He never said, oh, this person is involved. Your father calls out everyone. But show, show me a single place that you have talked about to Tunumbu who entered into presidency. The same country that you are saying, oh, they have a parliament. Their own president is a Chicago drug lord. Chicago drug lord. That is whom your president is. Chicago drug lord. Show me a family which that Tunumbu came from, from the Yarifa that you people have agreed uh, to answer. I am Omo Yoruba. Very, very backward people. Yoruba is an, a Fulani word, in case if you don't know. So you have agreed that Fulani colonized Yoruba? Yoruba is a Fulani word, which means Yariba, which means what they use in describing bad, bad, evil. Yariba, and they called you people Yariba. And today, you people are graciously answering, including the son of Fela Anipola Bokuti, called Nshewu. Nshewu. Nshewu Kuti. Nshewu Kuti. I am a man of Oremijus. I pray the Holy Gospel. As it may. As it may. Nshewu Kuti. You never fought for ordinary man. Show me where you have fought for ordinary man. Answers. You came to put talk down on answers, protesters. Am I still talking to this Obonu? Omo ale Omo ale Oduduwa. Oloni Buruku Oduduwa. Omo Jati Jati. Oloshi. Alaye Baje. Am I still talking to you? Am I still talking to you? You shamelessly on camera. Your father never shamelessly on camera against the defenseless people. Your father never on camera against a, a defenseless citizens. But we are the Shen. We are Shen on camera every time. Shen cannot on camera to, to abuse of uh, Tunumbu. Amube your former, they know born him well. I challenge you, Shen, as you on the camera to talk rubbish. You just smoke overboard and you feel that uh, your brain is called bringing uh, another signal. I just challenge you tomorrow on camera to talk about Tunumbu as your father did. Your father never feared anyone. Your father was imprisoned, imprisoned and imprisoned. Which is the same thing that Mazen Namdekanu is going through. You do not even have respect for Mazen Namdekanu, somebody who is being incarcerated. Your father fought for ordinary people. You did not join. You on camera to talk rubbish. He was a have a parliament. Oloni Buruku Omale. Oloni Buruku. He was a there is parliament. Which parliament? The same parliament that killed your father, or have it changed? Is it not the same people that killed your own father? Or have it changed? Have it changed? Have it changed? The people that you shamelessly go to the, today to bow down and say, those people are architect contributors of what happened to your own father. Those people are architect of what happened to your own father. Your father never participated in any uh, election because your father said he cannot be part of the evil. He wants to change the evil. Have you succumbed to the evil of Nigeria? If you have succumbed to the evil of Nigeria, 
then you, your name can never be attributed to the great fella. We, we are not discriminators. Fella was a great man. Fella was a great man. We don't talk down on great people. But you that have never offered anything, even within your own locality, the other time you went and brought gone to go and threaten somebody in, in the street and tell him, do you know who I am? You are just ordinary thoughts. You are living on your own father's name. If your father was not a musician, what could you have been today? The name through which you are selling is on your own father's name. If your father was not a musician, you could have been ordinary tout on the streets. You could have been ordinary tout on the street. That I can uh, guarantee you. You know me, I say my own, I give. I tell you my own. Kuro, kuro. You could have been ordinary tout. Maybe you will be another Aburu walking under Tunumbu. Walking under Tunumbu. Since you are useless, Omo Yariba, because that is the name. When we call the Yoruba name, which was driven from Fulani name of evil, Yariba, you said, oh, they are abusing Yoruba. So, so you agree that you are Yariba? What was your name before Fulani name you Yariba? Very useless idiots who do not think. Who do not reason? You shamelessly on camera to talk down on Ojuku. People's hero. People's hero. The shrine of your father will fight you. Everything that your father believes in will fight you. That is how I used to go. Because I know that your father fought for mankind and he died a very painful death. Fela was a great man. Fela was an icon. Can you say that to your own self? That you are useless in Fela's family. The other time, it was pushing, fighting on the road. It was attributed to you. Doubt. The other time again, it was you that carried gun to go and threaten somebody that if he do not remove his, uh, uh, if they do not stop the party that they are doing on the street uh, or on their locality, that you are going to fire them and nothing will happen. Is that how your father live? Doubt. Oluku. Is that your, how your father live? Shehu. Every evil is attributed to Shehu. Are you the only philosopher uh, son? Fela is a great name. Fela is a great name. And his name must never be dragged to mud. His name must never be dragged to mud. Can you say that of you who went about abusing people's hero? Fear is not even catching you. You that have never eaten three square meal, you are following this. The same politicians that your father fought against, you are taking idea, following them. Oh, don't worry, I will be speaking, using idea to speak for you people. You are following politicians, the same people that your father fought against. And tomorrow you will say you are a polit you, you're a musician, musician care. How many people have called you for music? And how many people have you sang for? You are just the ordinary street out. Ordinary street out. How many have how many people have called you for music? And how many people have you sang for? I have always praised you. Never know that you are a very useless. You are very useless as a human being, that I can assure you. Great Ikemba, please leave. Leave all your best Hiroko. Please leave him. I want him to be here. I love them when they come around. The DOS criminals, I love them when they come around so that their BP will continue to go high. I am Imane Oremijus. They don't know. The name rings bell in their covens and in their meeting. I am glad that they are discussing about me in their meetings. I am very, very glad 
that they said that they should fish and know where I am. I am very, very glad. I am in my Oremejus. I am glad that they declared my hunt for a man Oremejus. Those meetings that you people are doing, I am always in your midst. And I saw the assignment that you people distributed. I will continue to be your nightmare. Hence, I am now being the nightmares of those of your criminals. They said that I have, I have uh, 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 talked for too much. But you came when I was in Lagos, did you? Did you go and ask Odogu Dragon? He came for my head. Hence, it forced me to flee. Did you get me? Let me move. I am not talking about the same people who march with military. Go to their camp in Aaron D. Zog. They are doing kidnapping and stalking in their camp. The camp, the OS camp in Aaron D. Zog. And the arrows, I ask all of you, if you keep quiet for that camp, that means you are stupid. If this, my abuse, provoke you, go and uproot that useless camp. When they came to take you people on oath, I was notified that they are taking you people on oath. The arrows have suddenly succumbed. What happens to Egwebiri? What happens to your braveness? Egwunje jog. Un boy. Cham, 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 cham. Un juwebi awa ipa awa village. Un ekwe kwenan chetere uno inyo no meno. Unji webia wipe or not a village, my own side, my kindred. Nah, they have come. The US criminals have come. And you people are shivering. Anywhere that they build camp, the people must call and say they are kidnapping, they are kidnapping. What is happening? I never receive any call that. Oh, this is Biafra Liberation Army. I don't know where they are. Because I never received call from anybody giving me, oh, this Biafra Liberation Army are doing this or doing that. But I have received countless of calls that the DOS camps are doing kidnapping. You can receive receipt before the Wabuha or the Konam Bisek or Naiha. Let me leave. And come back, go to my program. Umuokoko, DOS criminals, umuo bonus. Sheu, Sheu Kuti, Sheu Kuti. Show me one single place that you have fought for the common man. Show me. All you are talking. If you are not blaming common man tomorrow, you will be blaming another common man tomorrow. That is all your program. Your father called a spade a spade. But you are very useless. Very, very useless. Hence, you smoke and you cannot uh, control yourself. Anywhere they are doing touting in Oduduwa land. In the land of the Oduduwa. Anywhere they are doing touting, it must be attributed to this useless show. Or oh, don't you know that I have a brother? I have a brother and I have sisters. Nine sisters. But why I always call my senior sister the one that carried me, Bisola, is because I love her very dearly. Don't you know that I'm equally rooted in Yoruba land? That my own blood families are, in, are from Yoruba, they are Yorubas. But they are not Yorubas. They are Oduduwas, or not Yaribas. They are Oduduwas, because Yariba means, Yoruba means backward. It means it is a great insult in Fulani land when you call a Fulani man Yariba. Just from today, when you see a Fulani man, call him Yariba and see what he will do to you. Just call him Yariba, the name that they give to Yoruba. It was Fulani that gave you Yoruba name. Yoruba that they are answering today came in the nineties. Before the nineties, their names are Oduduwas, the sons and daughters of Oduduwa. This umu efu efu that doesn't know the name of Yoruba. I 
ask any Igbo man the name of Igbo or the history of Igbo, they will tell you. But they, in their own case, they don't know that uh, the name that they are answering is evil, backwardness, darkness. They don't even know the meaning. They should go to their Fulani counterpart who gave them the name. When they took over Afonjas and, and the rest, who gave them the name and asked them, what is the meaning of Yariba? Then they will tell you the meaning. Yes, you have given him the dose and the bitter pill. He has to swallow it down and then come up with, own, with his own ranting again. And let's know the fact he has to call Nigeria a democratic country, to tell you that you should go to Senate. Which Senate are you talking about? Sheo uh, Kuti. Yorubans always fight back at Igbos, thinking that we are the problem of Yoruba land. We are not a problem, rather your compromise is a problem. Glutonic nature is a problem. Greed, envy and wickedness is the problem of Yoruba land, not the Igbos. So rant and go and seek for vengeance for those that killed your father and your grandmother and still incarcerated you some time ago. And yet you are here singing their praise because you need some money for your weed. You need some money for weed. We know that's why you are singing praise so that Tunubu will recognize you and give you some, some dough. Well, that is our business and we have said it all. Thank you everyone. Please help us to share. Help us to like and also help us to subscribe. Thank you very much.